In the underground world of backyard wrestling, young men put their bodies on the line for one night's taste of wrestling superstardom. For two of these yarders, the high of backyard brawl resulted in a suspension of disbelief that went far beyond the wrestling ring. I thought it was my dream to be a professional wrestler, but these jacks took it to another level. Every year they come knocking on my door asking about backyard wrestling, and I'm just sitting there like, dude, it's been five years. Give it up. I'd just be working from home and the two of them burst through the door trying to wrestle. These are grown men. Creating Backyard Brawl was like a dream come true for me. But for them, it became a nightmare. Years after the BYB ring was taken down for the final time, two of its stars, Justin Charge and Lord Jesus, are unable to move on. Now unemployed, homeless, and completely detached from reality, these two roam the streets with the unwavering belief that they are indeed professional wrestlers. Listen, you think I'm walking around all day in pink spandex for fun? I'm the real f***ing deal. And if you don't like that, we got two words for you. Five years after their last match, Justin Charge and Jesus still carry on the delusion that they are real-life professional wrestlers. So this is like a documentary about BYB? Or just backyard wrestling in general? Yeah, something like that. You're, you're still gonna feed us, right? Sure, sure. Okay. All right, let's roll it. I'm Justin Char. I'm a professional wrestler, manager, one-time referee, and oh, a historian of the wrestling business. And I'm Jesus. I got kind of a god complex, formerly Lord Jesus. But you know, I did the whole Prince thing, dropped the Lord, and I won the main event, BYB 2016. So, how'd you guys get started in backyard wrestling? Well, I guess for me, you know, I've always been a fan of wrestling. I remember in uh, fourth grade, I pinned his brother, Johnny Turbo. He doesn't like to acknowledge that that happened, but uh, let's just say the plex was perfect. And my brother got me into the business. A little thing called uh, WCW NWO World Tour and 64. Want to know how to trade stocks? All right. Buy down here, some shit happens over here, and then you sell up here. That's it. My name is John Thorne. I'm Justin Charge's older brother, and I wrestled as Johnny Turbo, the only undefeated wrestler in BYB history. BYB was really cool for all of us. It's like being famous for one night. Well, except for Justin. He still thinks he's famous. It's sad. I'm kind of a big deal. So, you both started as wrestlers? Well, he was always a wrestler. I started as a manager. Yeah, he does a lot of the talking. Uh, I, I do more of the punching. Except for the one time I punched Wes, which, come to think of it, I'm still not sure if he has feeling in that ear. You know, they say it's natural flavors, but it's not really natural. They can put up to 100 different chemicals up in there, so it's really bad for you. That's why you want to start with real food. I really didn't ask about any of this. I'm Wes Daddy. I'm a fitness enthusiast, nutritional expert, father, horror movie buff, producer of the Wise Eats podcast, writer, director, editor. Okay, okay. That's enough. Can you just use your real name? It's Wesley Wise. Never mind. Man, I was a Hulkamaniac growing up. I was saying my prayers, taking my vitamins, working out every day, and believing in myself. Yeah, we all love wrestling. I mean, there's really no other reason to do what we did. I think it's important to never give up on your dreams. Dreams are like the foundation of who we are. If we give up on our dreams, it's time to wise up. I always knew I would achieve my dreams at a young age. Did I mention I won the main event in BYB 2016? Let me guess, Jesus told you that he beat me in 2016, right? I'm Tommy Paslaski, former backyard wrestler, husband, soon to be father, and yes, it's Tommy Nitro. I won the main event of BYB 2016. You know, for all two people who still care about that thing. So you're friends with them? No. You were friends? Nope. Can you explain a little bit? 
basically they show up to my house every year asking about backyard wrestling they just barge right in they literally wreck my shit and they're just a bunch of fuck ups i don't like them never have never will Tommy's a fucking loser and a liar he's lucky he doesn't have a streak to end you know come to think of it they never beat me either this streak thing is honestly it's getting out of hand it's pretty much an obsession for him but it is BYB though so what is BYB where did it come from I'm Jose Rodriguez I'm the founder promoter and wrestler of BYB from 1999 to 2016. Backyard Brawl. It started with myself and a couple other guys in my parents' backyard at 127 Church Street in Mount Clemens. We were just wrestling marks. We wanted to be wrestlers, so we went to Arc Surplus, bought some foam mats, a friend had the WWE Attitude CD, and we would just have wrestling matches with each other just to have fun. It was innocent back then. <laughs> well, I did tap on a guy on the hood of a car. <laughs> I won a match when I was the referee, and I still don't know how that happened. BYB grew and grew. And we grew up. It was time to move on. At least for some of us. Jesus in charge, they never stop believing. Don't stop! Believing, hold on to their feelings. Seriously, they've never had another match ever in five years. I'll be driving home from work and I'll pass that park and I'll see them in full wrestling gear, just walking around. It's just sad. Seriously, there's no amount of medical science that can help them. I've checked. I'll just be sitting at home, enjoying my tea, reading a book and they break in the door. And I'm gonna have to get up and knock out my brother and his best friend again. I just want a normal life. I always thought that if somebody's life was gonna be ruined because of this, it would be because of a broken neck. But I'm not sure what's broken with those guys. Everyday life is kind of overrated when you think about it. Working a job, having a career, doing a nine to five, blah, blah, blah. To say they don't have a grip on reality is a bit of an understatement. You know, Jesus hasn't even seen his wife in five years, right? Like, he still thinks they're married. The professional wrestling business has its fair share of mangled bodies and shattered dreams. But in the bizarre case of Justin Charles and Jesus, the true pain lies in their broken homes. It's kind of crazy. We got married right outside where BYB took place. It's like my whole life is tied together, you know? You're gonna ask him about his wife? That does not sound like a wise choice. Don't say I didn't warn you. How's your relationship with your wife? It's great, man. We've been married eight years. She's supportive of what you're doing? Look, if you ask me one more question about my wife, I will put your head right through that f***ing wall. Do you regret breaking them in? When it comes to Jesus, you know, there's just some people in your life you just kind of know that they were just going to f*** up no matter what. A charge? Justin was the first person in our family to go to college. Charge? He could have definitely been somebody. I went to Michigan State. Yeah. What'd you major in? Uh, English and then psychology. Ring psychology? Two! Sweet! Actually, that's where I get a lot of my ring acumen from. You know, you would think somebody as well-spoken as Charge wouldn't be as much of a fuck up as he is. But then again, here we are. You know, wrestling as an art form is the physical body telling a story through combat, the mind telling a story through choice of action, and our emotions telling the story on how we feel about what we do. See, he's a smart dude. If you think about it, I majored 
in professional wrestling. This is what I was born to do. Straight to the top. To the WWE? No, to ending Johnny Turtle's streak. Yeah, have you not been paying attention at all, man? It's f***ing stupid. Man, I was this close to beating Johnny Turbo back in 2013. Good times. You're really undefeated? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Thanks. Well, I mean, it's not really all that it's cracked up to be, you know, being undefeated. Take your time. <clears throat> Can't see him at Thanksgiving. Can't see my brother at Christmas. Without punching him in the face. Just don't understand. The fed up thing is what he wants me to do. You know, it's really Shakespearean when you think about it. It's really fing stupid. At least they only bother me once a year. You wanna know how fed up this it is for real? Tell me. He puts his full wrestling gear on. Charge and Jesus? No. Turbo. I mean, it's like... What else would they have to live for if it wasn't for this? We're gonna beat him one day. Father Time is undefeated. And so is Johnny Turbo. For now. Two! Sweet! Why don't you just stop? I can't. In a last ditch effort to save these wayward ring warriors, I decided to try to confront their suspension of disbelief head on. The next series of questions are something I think might be a little uncomfortable for you both. More uncomfortable than bringing up my wife? What does this look like? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you're ready. The question is, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the 16 people watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to suck it! Swing! Listen. You're not actually professional wrestlers. Get that, right? This f***ing guy. Dude, how else could we be this f***ing jacked? You haven't wrestled a match in five years. Yeah, but this. All of this. Just in case. Listen. That is... That is not a wrestling match. We try to beat up his brother at least once a week. It's not a wrestling match. We have a referee. Storming into someone's house with a witness? It's not professional wrestling. It's, it's a crime. It's several crimes. And that's why you, my friend, don't understand the wrestling business. Professional wrestlers, by definition, have to both make money and compete in wrestling matches. You two just squat in a barn. Yeah, squat deep. You've alienated all your friends and family. My sister has a show about aliens. Is that like the same thing? You have no source of income. We get royalties. From who? From where? Hey, take it easy. Look, the last five years have not been easy on you at all. I think it's time you tried something a little different. But, this has sleeves. Yeah, two sleeves. 
both sleeves. You can do it. You can do this, guys. Do you have scissors so we can cut the... No. Not this time. This is what I'm talking about. It's sleeves, man. This is what it's like to give birth. You can do it, guys. Look, I don't think this is going to work for us. So unless you got some more food that we can eat, make like a tree and get the f*** out of here. Guys, not being able to get a shirt on is no reason to give up. It's on now. There it comes. It's... It's still real to you, isn't it? I wish there was a happy ending to it all. But I just don't see how that's possible. I'm honestly expecting to get that text one day saying that they're dead, but in a way they kind of already are. I think a lot of people overreact to their situation. There's a lot of people going to work every day, eating processed foods, not working out, and letting their dreams slip away. But they're still fighting. I think they should be admired. I always look at it like you get a little taste of a drug and you get that itch. There's always a risk that you can become addicted. In that sense, yeah, I'm partly to blame. But on the other hand, no, I'm not. Are we done? And I'm gonna tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life is that there are no guarantees, yeah. Take it.